First of all, congratulations on the win. Uh, you played this team last year. They about the same outcome basically, but uh, they didn't give up tonight. No, no. Uh, like I said, that their coach does a great job with them. Uh, you know, we played hard. Uh, they played hard. That travels hard on you. I, that's one thing I see about us. We're we're a good home team and the away team. I got to figure out how to wake them up earlier. So hopefully, hopefully, good all to us on Wednesday to be ready to play. So if if Altabusa does win, they, they've already locked. They, they, they had already locked. Seat. Yeah, they had. They had to oh, that's seat. right. They yeah, did they think. So Altabusa, you got a three-hour drive. Yeah. Uh, on a school bus. Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, in the rain, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, it's gonna be that. Ta that ta that takes a lot out of it you does. before you even start yeah. playing. Yeah. Yeah. Get down there and, and, and get ready. Get warmed up. Hopefully, I think Courtney's got to set up lead pretty early, so maybe we'll, we'll go about halfway stop. And usually Jerry's a pretty good guy, but they're letting us stop and uh, stretch out. Thank y'all. Right, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Let them stretch your legs and get a little like a little snack or something. So that works out great. Tonight, uh, you led from start to finish, uh, uh, got a good lead. Yeah, yeah. Then nobody uh, on either team could shoot there for a nothing. while. That's 17 7 for a long time. Yeah. Uh, 17 7 for a long time, yeah. What, uh, what did you do to inspire them to? There was a timeout. I don't even think it was your timeout, but there was a timeout, and uh, um, uh, you got a little spurt after that. We talked about moving the ball a little bit better. There was kind of the ball was kind of getting stuck at one spot, and it was kind of just jacking it up and still you know, moving the ball a little bit better and find, find a better shot instead of forcing so many threes. So, and they did. And like I said, we were trying to force down a little bit too much on the back end that we were trying to cut the back door. It was kind of forcing too much then and turned the ball up. Instead of, had some lob passes lob too passes, early. Yeah, yeah, a lot of lob passes that, you know, if quick teams get them, they're going all the way to layups. You know, we got to pass, got to be better. The only, th only saving grace was... They'd get the lob pass, and then they'd still take 10 seconds to get down the yeah, floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one thing that like, helps us. We're, we're, we're athletic. You know, we, we might struggle to score, but they're so athletic in every position, so, you know, they, they, they play hard. Uh, obviously, a lot on the line. Alta Vista, you, Alta Vista will give you uh, a, a spot in the state championship. Yep, yeah. yeah. So uh, hopefully, you know, they're, 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 at, they're wanting it just as bad as we want it. So, you know, it's going to be who wants it more. So, hopefully, hopefully our girls want it. You know, girls basketball, I, <laughs> it's been a long time, so we've kind of uh, always been a region runner-up a couple years in a row now, so we, we, we're hungry for it now. We, you know, I think they want them seniors, you know, they, they put in a lot of time out here. They helped me build my program up from when I first started four or five years ago. And, but like I said, I think, I think we're where we want to be at, so I'm excited.